everybody welcome to PUC online classroom today we're going to continue our lesson but before I start our lesson we can just focus on this a little bit so this was your homework right exercise 3a and b and also number four uh, I attach the answers with uh, this lesson so that you can check and compare your answers all right and if you have questions why the answer is ed or ing right here so you can leave me questions in a comment below or maybe you can go to our telegram group chat okay so i need to move on to the next which is number five that is our lesson today this is about listening so what you're going to do is to listen and check um, you know the adjectives that describe the best food each person okay so we have four so you need to find out exactly about the first the second and the last so on and so forth okay so find out that uh, which adjective that best des describes each person okay and we cannot go to number six but we can talk a little bit about number seven as you can see right here discussion let's go to the movies we have you know different kinds of movies right here as you can see we have comedies thrillers drama mysteries action adventure uh, science fiction romance classics documentaries horror and animation so these are many different types of movies and probably you have uh, watched all of them right and but for me I don't really like horror because it seem to be scary you know so maybe you can focus on this and ask yourself with this kind of questions because we cannot ask the others all right so you can ask yourself and answer by yourself for example what kind of movies are you interested in and then you can simply say oh animation or comedies for example all right okay so i'm not going to spend time more with seven so let's go to number eight perspective this is about listening but we just go and read each one so in this case you can guess the actress actors and movie each person is describing but you don't have to you don't know all right because the main purpose is not about uh, guessing who they are because this gonna takes you this gonna take you somewhere else all right in this lesson for example right here it's an actor who often plays unusual characters He's fantastic as the Mad Hatter in Alice in Wonderland and Captain Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of Ca the Caribbean movies. Okay, so I think you probably have watched uh, Alice in Wonderland and also the Pirates of Caribbean, right? Number two, this action movie came out in 2010 and stars Leonardo DiCaprio as a Sith who is able to steal information from people's minds. Well, I can't believe that, you know, he can get any information, you know, from people's mind. Well, probably it's impossible, but it just, it just only uh, happens in the movie, right? It's kind of confusing, but the special effects are amazing. Yeah, I already explained that. Special effect is something related to the animation, the sound, you know, and... Uh, you know the activity like jumping from one building to another or flying okay so these are about special effects number three it's a science fiction movie that was directed by James Cameron it's a beautiful film that takes place on the moon Pandora uh, I know this one in the year 2154 it's a story about the clash the class here means uh, the conflict all right the difference between cultures and civilizations okay and number four she's an actress who is excellent in both dramas and comedies I love her in Mama Meyer and the Iron Lady never watched that I haven't seen a lot of her earlier movies though okay so we can simply see that uh, the first sentence right here number one okay He's an actor who often plays unusual characters, so we can see that is one sentence. But of course, inside that there are two classes. Okay, he's an actor. There is one main class who often plays unusual characters, is another class. So you can say it's a subclass. 
okay similar to number two we can have uh, who is able look at this this action movie came out in 2010 it stars Leonardo uh, DiCaprio at the SIF who is able to steal blah 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 as you can see right here we have one this action right here SIF is one man clause and who is blah 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 is another clause okay and we don't need to go to number three and number four because you can identify from that right here is uh, okay that here is one clause all right and this is a man clause and number four we have who right here who is excellent is another clause in this sentence okay so from this examples we can simply see that they are combining sentences together or clauses using who that right so our lesson today is going to focus on this as well which is about who that okay so that is relative pronoun okay relative pronouns right here is about who or that or you can say which okay so we're going to uh, you know understand all of this but I'm not going to focus on this uh, lesson in this activity but I will go to the handout okay alright so this is about relative clause or you can say adjective clause and I will tell you why we have two different names okay but let's begin with relative clause first because our lesson is about relative pronouns right if you take a look at this they use relative pronouns so le le relative pronouns who that and which but when we combine them it will become relative clause okay so let's take a look at this, this example but before we take a look at this example let's read this a little bit to find out what it is we use an adjective clause to tell us which person or thing the speaker means so the person or thing so it means that it can be person it can be thing okay for example so Kai is the person who bought my bike who bought my bike is the person and who is that person is Soka and I will tell you why we don't put it right here next to Soka or after Soka okay so the second example the book which is on the desk is great so which is on the desk is a relative clause that modifies the book okay so why uh, we modify the book the reason is that we don't know which book all right so the book that is on the desk so is about thing that speaker means so we d we want to explain more about the book and right here we want to explain more about the person and the third one she likes to marry a man who knows how to cook so who knows how to cook is a man so this modifies a man all right and number four sorry is the last one she would like a job that uses her talent so that here modifies a job so the idea again everybody about learning relative clause is to combine two sentences together all right so why we call relative clause because first the two sentences right here are related okay so when they are related we can combine them and in order to combine them we have to use relative pronouns all right uh, just like who which or that right here okay so there are three relative pronouns but actually we have more than this in our lesson we're going to focus on people and things so that we we only mention who which or that all right so the idea we have a name called relative clause just because first two sentences are related and when they are related you can combine them using relative pronouns okay so I will explain why we call adjective clause okay but let me finish this relative pronoun or relative clause okay mostly relative clause it's just a clause we have subject verb and object all right but right here relative pronoun as a subject so it can be a subject it can be an object all right so our relative pronoun can be a subject or an object so let's begin with a subject first 
look at the first uh, example right here I'm looking at the woman she is standing over there as you can see right here these two sentences are related why because she here refers to the woman then you can combine when you combine you have to use relative pronouns all right who which or that but she here is the person all right the woman so that is the reason you can use who and we also can use that because that can be used with both people and things right so right here whenever you use who or that you cannot use she anymore because she is replaced by who or that in this sentence okay all right so we have the answer I'm looking at the woman who or that is standing over there okay so we omit or replace she by using who or that okay and why it is subject because look at that she and then is so is standing is a verb and she is a subject so that's why who or that right here functions as a subject okay so the answer is I'm looking at a woman who or that is standing over there the second example I like a job it is interesting and well packed so as you can see it here refers to a job and it is a subject if you take a look at the this sentence and um, it here is a job so that we need to use which or that and I will tell you why uh, or how different between which or that or who or that okay let me finish this I like a job and then you have to replace it by using which or that okay and when you use, replace it you don't keep it anymore everybody you have to omit it okay it's interesting and it functions as a subject okay so when relative pronoun function is a subject it can be a person it can be something okay the boy is intelligent he works really hard who works really hard the boy and then we can you know combine these two together so you can say the boy who or that works as I mentioned we can use who with people and that also with people alright so that you can use both of them I would I, I will tell you uh, the difference okay so the boy who or that works really hard is intelligent okay so let me ask you a question why can't we put right here in intelligent right here after the word intelligent why do we have to move next to the boy what about the the second example we see, we choose after the job right here and after the woman right here what about the boy right here why do we have to move right here so the answer is that intelligent is an adjective okay so relative clause is different relative clause cannot modify adjective because something that can modify adjective is an adverb okay but this one is not an adverb it is a relative clause so who or oh, that was really hard who is he the boy then you have to move next to the boy not intelligent and when something modifies noun it is an adjective right but it's not a single adjective it is an adjective clause because we have subject and verb and the rest of the underline here is an adjective clause why because it modifies the noun so when something modifies noun it is an adjective okay that is the reason why we have two different names one is adjective clause and relative clause okay and in this case everybody the boy is the noun that we modify not intelligent that is the reason you have to move right here but if you put it right here it will be incorrect so do not keep it right here you have to move next to the noun it modifies the first two example right here the noun it modifies is at the end of each sentence so it doesn't matter we just leave it as it is but this one the boy is in the front so that you have to move your whole relative clause or adjective clause next to it okay the same thing is this example homework is interesting it was given yesterday you can say the homework which that was given yesterday is interesting as you can see right here adjective clause or relative clause does not modify 
adjective sure it modifies noun okay so this is about relative pronoun as subject and now we move on to an object okay that's the teacher look at this first example we are interested in him okay so him right here is the teacher not we we are not the teacher but him he is the teacher then him is a person and it functions as an object pronoun as you can see right here then you have to replace him by using who or that okay who or that so because the teacher is right here so we can just put who or that okay next to the noun we modify which is the teacher okay but look at him we cannot use him anymore all right because we already replace him with who or that so you cannot use him anymore right here at the end if you keep it it is incorrect so how can you replace who or that and uh, instead of him and then you keep you still keep him right here of course not there will be repetition and in english it is incorrect so when you replace it with who or that you cannot or you no longer use it all right so that's why we don't have him at the end another one that is the how they bought it last year okay so as you can see right here this is the house which or that they bought so we don't see it anymore because it already is already replaced by which or that okay because it here ref refers to the house then you have to put it next okay uh, to the house or after the house the same thing with this one okay alright so if you have any questions with relative pronouns or relative clause okay function as subject and object you can ask me uh, in a question uh, in a comment below or maybe you can go to our telegram group chat okay and I also attach the practice so that you can do exercise right here so what you have to do is only who or which remember that you cannot use that in this exercise okay even though that can be optional that can be used with who that can be used with which so let me tell you the difference so we know that who or that can be used with people but the difference is that is informal all right who is more formal than um that and whenever we talk about something which and that so which is more formal than that usually that is informal all right the reason is that that can be used with people and things so it considered to be informal and mostly we use it in a spoken language all right so let's spend time doing this exercise at home okay um yeah so just use only who or which okay one more thing everybody some of this contain some of this question as you can see right here so we have questions you should know exactly where to place them okay and read the sentence carefully you might get the wrong answer okay all right so i have to go back to our lesson right here at the side in our lesson so this is another piece of homework what you have to do is to to combine this using uh, who or which okay who is a person which is sing okay so let combine combine them but let me uh, remind you a little bit about this as you can see right here super mario this one is very specific everybody and it here can be riddle game or can be super mario right yeah of course but in this case we are not going to replace it using which and we use it to modify super mario galaxy galaxy okay we modify only the video game the reason is that if we modify this very specific noun here this is not our lesson our lesson is about something that we modify something that is not clear someone that is not clear so we need to modify that person or that thing if we modify something that is or someone that is clear we are we are not going to focus on that because uh, this is about non-defining relative clause and what we are learning is about defining why it is defining let me go back to the example a little bit if you can see right here so car is the person who bought my bike if you just ignore that if you don't have this clause for example you just have only 
Sokka is the person and full stop and you don't see she bought or uh, the person bought my bike okay for example if you just read Sokka is the person you don't really understand who the person is right that is not clear but Sokka is clear but the person is not clear so if we modify Sokka it is non-defining non-defining means it doesn't it's not necessary or it's not important to define but right here we have to define why because we don't know the person the, who is that person or oh, the one who bought my bike okay so that is the reason we have to define this meaning with the person right here and if you say that the book is great if you if you ignore this if you don't have this in a sentence then you just see only the book is great then we don't know which book is not clear enough then we have to define we have to explain more about the book so the book that is on the desk is great so right here we know exactly what the book is okay so when something that we are, we are not clear we are not sure and then we define it we call defining relative clause this is our lesson but if we define something clear for example so car then it is not defining we call non-defining okay relative clause so right here if you define something specific right here Jody Foster Ben Affleck for example so on and so forth so it will be non-defining relative clause okay but our lesson everybody is only defining relative clause you will learn non-defining relative clause when you go to level 4 okay all right so again if you have questions leave me questions in a comment below you can ask me in a telegram group chat all right and i think that's it for today there's a lot for you all right and i have to say goodbye right now um once again thank you so much for your attention and your participation in learning again i recommend you to watch the lesson one or two times in order to understand that because maybe the first time you watched you don't really understand much but the second time you read you watch that you probably come up with something that you miss so i recommend you watch at least two times if possible okay and uh, leave me questions if you have in our telegram group chat or maybe in a comment below the lesson all right okay that's it for today thank you so much everyone have a nice day goodbye